How are you doing guys and girls? My name is Dyer, and today's move looks like this. Now I have done a video on bumps, boom, right there, but I'm gonna try and explain it to you very quickly now and show you how to do the move. Now I've also done a video on, on, on nests. Nest is when you land the bottle in the shaker. That might be there, I don't know how long I've got in between one link and another, but anyway, if not, there'll be a, a link in the description below. But this move is about learning the bump, okay, the forearm bump, uh, and then, but this time you're not gonna catch it in the same hand, whoops. Okay, you wanna catch it sort of underneath your arm here. Okay, so if you grab the shaker and you put it in position, if we do it in a plastic one, first of all, if you get that bump correct, all you need to figure out is, is the throw, really, because if you throw it hard enough, you just have to give it a little tap with the bump of the arm for that bottle to then continue moving in the direction that you want. And then you just kind of need to put the shaker in position and try and catch it. You may not get it at first because what's happening is, as you're trying to catch it, it's kind of a blind catch, it's kind of awkward. You need to kind of guess where that catch is. But, as I explained on the next video, if you have that finger there and you do the move, you see how I'm kind of grabbing the bottle with my fingers, making it much easier for myself, oops, much easier for myself to catch it inside the shaker. What will also happen is, if I did, as I did it there, is the slower, the, the more you do the move, if you do a slow bump, I know I need to move the, the shaker down to catch it. If you do a faster bump, I need to move the shaker up to catch it. And again, see that, that fingers, those fingers are in place to help me catch the bottle inside the shaker. So use those fingers, do your little cheat, it will help. It's not making your flare look any less crap. Because the better you become at it, you then won't need to use your fingers, okay? But as I also explained in the other videos, that with those fingers, it will become more uh, useful when you start doing moves with three tins and snatches. So for example, two splits in a row. What I'm doing there very quickly is I'm doing a snatch and I'm catching the shaker here, see those two fingers, so that they're still apart, so then I can do the throw of the shoulder. Sorry, I'm trying to squeeze this in in three minutes. It's stupid, I shouldn't be doing that. But anyway, you can check out another video there that the Wildflare Association did when they interviewed Dennis Trifonos when he talks about that exact thing and he explains it and shows it a lot better than I just did. But that was the bump to a nest. Let me know what you think. If you want me to continue down that road, if you need to know more about different moves, put it in the comments box below. Tell your friends and family. Practice with friends. Practice hard. Practice smart. Practice something else. But until next time, we'll see you next Thursday.